this is how you create a new Google Analytics account. Uh, so if you've got a bunch of accounts already, you go to admin and then in the drop down here, you click create new account and you can only um, have a, a certain number. So once you get in there, you type in your account name and this is the sort of, um, so if you have a number of websites or a number of companies, this is what you put in the account name and then the particular uh, website you're going to track um, goes in here. Uh, so in this case, we're going to track www.whitedogstudios.com.au. Um, if you wish to, you can um, select a, a, a category. It's a good thing because it gives you some comparison information. And then what you're going to do in here is select the time zone. So is Australia and we're going to get the one closest to us. So we're going to go to Melbourne and Sydney. Um, it's worthwhile just leaving these ticked. Um, it's just to do with comparison information. Um, it helps uh, Google enable some of the features that they give you inside of um, Google Analytics. Um, in here, you can change your country to see the terms of service that you want to use. Click accept on that. And then in your installation, you're going to use one of two things. Um, one would might be the the UA ID. So if you've got a Google, uh, sorry, if you've got a WordPress website or something, and you're using the um, recommended um, Google uh, WordPress by Yoast plugin, um, you'll just need that. If you're going to install it somewhere else, you'll actually need this whole script. So install it yourself. Um, but what we're going to do in the next video is install it into Google Tag Manager. So we'll uh, see you over there.